WebCRM's website integration package allows you to create a link between your website and your WebCRM system. So in this way, you will have new and unique ways to communicate with your leads and customers. WebCRM website integration can also help you manage sign on off to newsletters, your contact forms, and give your customers the option to view and edit their own data directly into your WebCRM system. This video is divided into chapters so you easily can find the information you want to learn more about. In this view, you can see when the various chapter starts, so you can fast forward to the chapter you need. To set up the website integration, you must access it through configuration, integration, and landing pages. First, you must set up the graphics for your landing pages. A landing page is a kind of micro website that you can link to from your own website or that you can access through a link in an email. The first step you need to perform is clicking on the menu Graphics and Fonts. In this menu, you set the basics for your landing pages, which will be standard for all of them. For your landing pages, you can choose to upload a banner to give them a personal touch. At the same time, select if the pages should be divided with gray lines for each section, as well as the standard information your customers will see by default. Note that these customers' details are only visible at the landing pages that are being sent out through a link in an email, an example when unsubscribing from a newsletter. As WebCRM, through your contact's email address, links to your contact's information on the landing page. Then select the background color to your landing page and select the font and sizes that you want available when you create a new landing page. If you don't want to use the default font types, you can together with your IT department even add your own. Finally, choose a test person for your landing pages. The test person is used when you, during construction of a landing page, select Preview to see an example of the final result. When you send your newsletter using WebCRM, you can now create a landing page that allows your customers to click on a link in the newsletter to unsubscribe. The unsubscribing will then directly be registered in WebCRM, and those who chose to do so are blocked automatically from future mass mailings that you perform from your WebCRM system. To create this page, click here on Create. Then select the landing page you want to create. In this situation, select the newsletter sign on off, give it a description and press save. Subsequently, you now need to set up the landing page. First, choose for how long time the link must be active in your newsletter. Then select whether to send an email to one of you when a recipient chooses to unsubscribe. Here you can select if the submit button for example should be named unsubscribe and in message after submitting, you can insert a receipt to the customer. You can also select the font the receipt must be displayed with. In the info section, select if your recipient's information must appear on the landing page. This depends though on what information you as a standard have chosen to display as shown in the installation chapter. Up here, you can choose whether to create an activity to one of you when a recipient unsubscribes from your newsletter. The activity can in example be used for follow-ups on the recipient subsequently. If you select this feature, you now have to press save. Then select the standard information these activities must be created with and then press save again. Now select if the recipient must have the right to automatically update their unsubscribing in your WebCRM system or if the recipient's unsubscribing only is to be displayed in the activity log in which you manually have to unsubscribe on behalf of them afterwards. Finally, you choose what the recipients must have access to from the landing page. Note that if you select block mass emails, then the person is blocked from all mass emailings sent out from WebCRM in the future. When you're done with the setup, you can now press the preview button to see the final result. To get this page linked into your newsletters, you must find your newsletter 
under Utilities, Templates, and Email Templates. Select your newsletter from the list and press Edit. Then place the cursor at the point in your newsletter where the link should be. Press the Merge fields and then select the link as shown. Note that you can change the text between the underscores, but with a maximum of 50 characters. When your newsletters are sent out, your customers can now automatically unsubscribe from your newsletters and the sign-off will directly be registered in your web CRM system. The contact form can be used for many different things and gives your customers and leads an opportunity to start a dialogue with you directly from your website. The contact form can be used to everything from the common contact, registration forms, and registration for various newsletters and much more. To create this, click Create and select it from the list. Then give it a description and press Save. First select whether one of you must have an email received when you're contacted. Then select the name for the send button and enter the receipt that your customers or lead should see when they press to send the request. Then choose whether to always create a new customer or whether to update an existing customer card if the web CRM system recognizes the customer. You can also choose whether you should be able to approve the request before it's put into WebCRM. WebCRM can recognize the person using their email address. Finally, you can also choose to add one of the following entities, such as an activity that will be automatically created at the same time the request comes in your WebCRM system. So you in that way can contact and follow up on the client or the lead. Below you can choose which field is to be available for the customers to fill out and you can also select if some of them should be mandatory or optional. Once you have linked the appropriate fields, press Save and more empty fields will now appear so that you can expand your form with more information. Below select whether to create hidden fields to the contact form. A hidden field is an extra information that is important to you and that the customers cannot see. This could be information about the activity if you have chosen to include this as shown before, or whether to insert a standard information about this request, for example that it comes directly from your website. And in the same way as the displayed fields, press save and more hidden fields will appear in the list. When your contact form is complete, it is now ready to link to your website. This is done by copying one of the two HTML tags and ask your IT department to deploy these in example in a button or a link. Remember that you can always press the preview button here to see the result during this process. When a customer or lead uses the form to contact you, they will, if you have chosen to approve them before they are created, enter into your WebCRM system here from the front page of WebCRM. And you can now click the icon here to access them and choose which to approve and which to reject. Your WebCRM website integration package is now set up and ready to use. Note that in addition to the examples shown, there are also other possible landing pages as shown in the list when you press the button to create a new page.